Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can reconcile any account in Sage 50 using the account reconciliation window. Most often users will reconcile bank accounts, cash accounts, and credit card accounts. When you reconcile an account, you ensure that your company's financial information about that account matches the information from the account's associated financial institution. Once you receive a bank statement for an account from a financial institution, you should reconcile the transactions displayed within the statement to your transactions within your Sage 50 company file. This can help you detect bank errors, data entry errors, and fraud much more quickly. To reconcile an account, select Tasks from the menu bar and then choose the Account Reconciliation command to open the Account Reconciliation window. Select the ID of the account that you want to reconcile from the Account to Reconcile drop-down. Then enter the Statement Date from the Associated Bank Statement into the Statement Date field. Note that you can reconcile information from prior accounting periods without having to leave the current accounting period by simply selecting the prior period statement date within the desired prior period to reconcile from the statement date field. Next enter the accounts balance as of the selected statement date from your bank statement into the statement ending balance field. At this point, all the selected accounts transactions are displayed in a single list with deposits and bank credits showing first. You can change which items are displayed within the transaction list by making a choice from the Show drop-down menu that appears at the top of the window. Whatever choice you make here will display those associated transactions that have affected the account balance through the end of the selected accounting period. You can use this information to then reconcile the account transactions in Sage 50 with your bank account statement by marking the transaction shown within the statement as cleared within Sage 50. As you clear the Sage 50 transactions, the unreconciled difference displayed in the bottom of the window will approach zero. Once you've marked all of your clear transactions, the difference should be zero. Note that additional transactions that are not typically recorded in Sage 50 until you receive the bank statement, such as bank service charges, can be added while you are reconciling the count. You can input bank service fees and interest earned directly into the reconciliation window. To do this, ensure that you click the Expand button that appears in the lower left corner of this window to expand the Interest Earned Service Charges section if needed. You can then enter any Service Charges or Interest Earned into the fields of the same name within this section. Be sure to also enter the date that these transactions occurred, as well as the associated account that's used to track their value such as a bank service fees expense account or an interest earned income account. To clear transactions that are marked within the account transaction list, click the checkbox at the left of any transaction to mark it as cleared. After a successful reconciliation of the account, these cleared transactions will be removed from the list when you move to the next accounting period. Also note that there are some unique buttons in the toolbar at the top of the account reconciliation window. If you click the OK button, you will save your changes and close the account reconciliation window. You can return at any time to finish the reconciliation if needed. You can click the Multiple button to open the Clear Transactions dialog box where you can select a range of transactions to clear. In this dialog box, first select the Types of Transactions to Clear from the Type drop-down. Then select whether to clear the transactions based on reference number or date range. You can then input a range of reference numbers or a date range within which to mark the selected type of transactions as cleared. 
Then simply click the OK button to clear the selected range of transactions. You can also click the Clear drop-down button to select either Check All, which will check every transaction listed and mark it as cleared, or Uncheck All, which will uncheck every transaction to mark them all as uncleared. If you need to enter transactions that affect the account reconciliation, you can click the Add New button to display a drop-down menu of task window choices that you can open in order to enter additional transactions. You can select either General Journal Entry, Write Check, Receipt, or Account Register to open the associated task window where you can enter the additional transactions if required. If you are just beginning to use Sage 50, you may need to click the Beginning Transactions gray arrow button that's shown in the lower right corner of the Interest Earned Service Charges section when it's expanded to open the Beginning Transactions window. In this window, you can enter transactions that occurred before the Sage 50 company file's start date. These transactions will not affect the general ledger and they will only be used for account reconciliation. When you're ready to reconcile the account, simply click the OK button. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.